Hey everybody and welcome to a new video. Today I want to get into the New York Toy Fair WWE figure reveals. Uh, we also have seen a new ring playset. I will get to that last because I feel I have a lot of things to say about that thing. But yeah, let's get into the pictures here of the new WWE figures that we have seen. Uh, pictures are from Ringside Collectibles, so uh, thanks to them for the pictures. They have the best pictures um, out there of the new stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to use their stuff here today. Uh, first, we have some new figures in the ring. And we have um, the New Day. We have Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods in the uh, USA attire. And... Uh, New Day is Elite 60, so it's Kofi and Xavier in Elite 60. Um, this is now going to be the fourth um, New Day Elite set that we're getting. We had the blue ones that came out first, then the WrestleMania ones, then the orange-blue ones, and now we're getting the USA attire ones. I kind of wish they would have been green, but those are still pretty cool attires. I don't really know if I will need them. But yeah, it's definitely not not a bad um, New Day set here. We do not have pictures of Big E yet, uh, just uh, Kofi and Xavier. Uh, Elite 60 Cena. Um, it's still um, blue and orange, I would say. It doesn't have a shirt here, but I would hope they will include the orange one. Uh, because we got the blue one and I think we should get the orange one as well So hopefully they will include that with this figure in elite 60 uh, Elite 60 is still like some time to go so it, it will take a while for this to come out uh, We have the two best figures of this set in my opinion We have um, Triple H from Wrestlemania 33. This is a figure that I really badly want. I think it looks super awesome uh, of course, from the match with Rollins, and I think that figure is just awesome. The head scan and everything, the vest. This is like a really, really cool Triple H. A lot of people are complaining that we're always getting so many Triple H Elite figures, but I think this one is a must-have for me. I definitely have to pick that up. And obviously, Elias, also first time in the line, I would say, uh, going to be in Elite 60. We definitely need that because... You know, we, we don't have an Elias yet, and he's, like, getting pushed pretty well on Monday Night Raw, so we'll definitely need a figure of him, and it looks really good. Uh, Andre the Giant from Elite 60 is nothing that I really care about, so I really don't have to say much about this figure. Then we move on, and we have Elite 59. Uh, Zack Wright already um, posted a mock picture of his figure on a Twitter and Instagram, but this is the USA attire we already knew about. I think I'm going to pick that up just to have an updated Elite Rider in the collection. It has been a while since we've gotten one. Elite 17 has been the last Elite Zack Rider. So it has been like six years or something. Pretty long to, to if you think about it uh, for an Elite Rider. We have Elite 59, Chad Gable and Jason Jordan, American Alpha. Now, of course, American Alpha is long over, but um, I think these are really cool, and I think I might have to pick them up, actually. I, I for sure have to get the Gable, because I think it's awesome. I never had the chance to get the Walmart Elites, because it's just so hard uh, being an international collector. Like, these store exclusives, they suck. But, uh, yeah, definitely going to pick those up, I think, because they look awesome. Come with the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. Obviously... They're not American Alpha anymore, but I think um, they are a pretty cool tag team to use in a pick fed or something, and I might want to use them someday, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick those up. Then, really quick into the new basics, they are just horrible in my opinion. They get worse every time, I feel. I th I think Mattel will go back to the old basics soon because I don't see anyone buying these. I really, on Instagram, if, if I look around, there are not many people buying them anymore because they are so horrible. Uh, just look at like that Rusev, it's outdated and then it doesn't even have chest hair anymore or body hair, like really weird. Um, the, the Naomi <laughs> looks like really bad in my opinion. I mean, even though it comes with the updated hair and everything, but... 
the figure itself, like, they just look bad. They just look bad. And obviously, who needs another basic Kevin Owens and Ambrose and Cena? I don't know. I, I just don't like these at all. And yeah, we also there are also some more figures from Elite 59 in the cabinet that for some reason nobody took a picture of. Um, you can kind of tell that there's a, a Kurt Angle Elite, bald, which is really good. I just ordered my entrance grades angle, so I'm not sure if I will still have to pick that up. But yeah, there's also a miss in suit, so we're getting that in Elite 59. There's also a Finn Balor, which looks really similar to the Elite 41, so I think I don't really have to pick that up. Um, some of the Finn paints are like really similar, and I don't really see the need anymore to pick them all up. Um, and then there are some new basics uh, that were also shown. There are the Rock and Roman, which like nobody really cares about. And then you can see um, three other figures. Charlotte looks pretty good from afar, but you know could be far from from good. Um, we have uh, Tozawa first time in the line. Not sure if he probably is not getting an elite. So if you would want a figure of him, this is probably the way to go. And then the man, we have Dolph Ziggler. And I hope they will make more elite figures of him as well. Because and now that he's getting 1.5 million a year, I think they, they should milk him. They should milk him and make like a lot of figures of him. <laughs> yeah, like I would definitely buy all the Dolph elites, like for sure. Um, yeah, but this is the USA flag attire, and I think it comes with a ponytail head skin, which is new for Dolph. So I would definitely be excited for that, even though it's a it's a basic. I'm going to probably pick that up for the head skin eventually. So yeah, that's something I'm pretty hyped about. Hopefully, like I said, they will make more Ziggler elites really soon but also yeah, let's get into the main thing here we have the <laughs> Smackdown live ring and now there are a few things th that are kind of mind-boggling about this so Bill said he was really upset about the raw ring uh, the ropes being like really short you know they should be way higher and he said they would fix that with the next ring and it's still the same shit. It's like exactly the same mold and the ropes are way too low. Now, I'm probably that stupid that I will pick this ring up still just to be, because these rings, they look really cool in pictures. They look way, way better to use in pictures or videos than the older rings in my opinion. Uh, they just look really cool and they represent the current Raw and SmackDown rings. So you kind of have to pick them up. But it's really a real big bummer that, that they don't fix stuff like that. I wish this would have been fixed because if they would fix this, these rings would be perfect. Like, I love the raw main event ring. Just the, the thing that, that the ropes are so low. That's like, it's like bad. And I wish they would fix it, but apparently uh, they don't. Now, I was looking at the packaging and I was like thinking why is this coming with like ice cubes or whatever this is but I figured th this box is like not really edited yet and yeah it's like the stuff they use for the pictures like you can see the this like wire attached to AJ and Owens and stuff they, they just didn't finish the box art yet and you know this is like I guess an early shot of it they didn't edit it yet, so I thought that was quite funny. Figure comes with an exclusive Jinder Mahal Elite. Now a lot of people are pissed that they will need to buy this ring to get a Jinder, which I can understand. Uh, pretty sure they're going to do the same thing and not release a Jinder in any other line because there's nobody, uh, no Jinder in the upcoming lineups. And Honestly, that Jinder looks pretty bad. Like, the head skin is really bad. And if you look at, at him in, on the ring box, like, it, it looks like the head is way too small. But the head skin is also pretty bad. I think they should just have you reused the old Jinder head skin uh, that we also use for our customs. Like, honestly, I think our custom Jinders looked way better than this. Um, especially the SummerSlam Jinder. If I think of it, I will put a picture here 
looked way better than that they're using the blue t-star torso on gender and i think those are new arms for sure but the head skin man it, it looks like the new face printed thing and it's just not good at all um yeah and it will come with the smackdown live announce table and i guess two chairs again so i think that's pretty cool uh we'll probably pick it up uh, i would hope maybe they would fix it until it comes out but i think they won't so yeah still i think i have to buy it just because yeah yeah we're kind of stupid in the end they will probably come out with a new ring after these two and say now buy it now we fix the rope height so <laughs> yeah that's pretty shitty but i still really like these new rings so definitely have to pick it up i think and yeah that's pretty much it those are all the new figures we have seen at toy fair let me know what you guys think about all the new stuff what are you excited for are you going to pick up the ring are you like pretty upset about that they still haven't fixed the ring as well uh, let me know all that in the comment section below and thank you guys for watching and i see you all in the next one